James Bird Hart. I'm the sales team leader here at Equip2. Today we're going to be doing a walk around the Keystrack K3 scalping screen. So with the Keystrack K3, you can see we've got a, a very, very deep box, um, which means that we've got a higher wall that will handle rocks up to 600 mil on these screen boxes. So the K3's kitted with a 2.8 by 1.2 scalping screen. Um, we have these mainly with a hard ox punch plate on the top and a four and a half cube hopper with the apron feeder set up on it. So in here, this is where all the controls are. As you see, we've got nice big heavy duty latches um, and everything is run from this control panel here. Very, very simple to use, easy um, system. So as soon as the engine started, we can either control our auxiliaries here or do auto start, auto stop of the machine, which everything runs up in its own sequence, or we can run them manually. So if we want to run a belt individually, um, we've got that capability. With the remote control, we can also do exactly the same. So we can start the engine, hop into your excavator or your loader, and just press auto start, and everything will start up in a sequence, and then we can adjust our belt speed. So we can just hit whatever belt we want to adjust the speeds for and uh, go plus or minus. And the same for the feeder. Where this is really cool is if you've got your stockpiles filled right up um, or you need to win more material, you can just press auto stop and the machine will um, go down just so the engine's running. Um, and then you can go auto start again to get it running up up again. This also enables us to track the machine while it's on operation. So if we're gonna have a wind row, we can track the machine low beside the excavator with a Rinwo. Um, that also means that we're not hopping out of the excavator down to the control panel to be able to change over to the tracking mode. So it's an awesome time saver and also minimizes um, any chances of injury from hopping in and out of your excavator all the time. So the K3 is fitted with a Deutz engine, which is a 50, 55 kilowatt engine. And as you see in here, like all Keystrack machines, uh, fitted with a, a load sensing hydraulic pump. Advantages of this system is it gives us better um, fuel efficiencies by about 25% compared to the traditional gear pumps. And for changing our speeds of our belts is a lot simpler as well. We're not running through a flow restrictor, um, which heats your oil up. So you'll see in all the Keystrack machines, they run a, a lot smaller hydraulic tank because they don't have to have that capacity to be able to keep the oil cool. There's also a good thing to mention is accessibility around the engine, um, making it a lot, lot easier for technicians. So we've got our fuel filters here, um, our batteries, air cleaner, um, and our dipstick. So making it simple, we can, easier we can make it for guys to do their checks, they're gonna do them for us. So in through this area here, we've got um, our fuel tank. As you see, it's made of stainless steel, and that means that um, it's not going to rust and it's also acceptable to take biofuels. Another thing to note with these Keystrack machines is the steel is a branded hard ox steel which is called Domex. Um, that means that we can give our transport weight down but also um, having a lot better strength so it's four times stronger than a standard mild steel. So a lot of doors that can open up making it easy to access our conveyor belt underneath. So Keystrack runner can bar belt under the screen box, so you got less chance of blockages rather than using a chute system. We've actually got a live belt there. And as you see, the hydraulic motors are very heavy duty. They're not just a standard um, off the shelf motor, they're, they're the heavy duty type, um, which means it's gonna last a lot longer. So Keystrack put a lot of emphasis into design engineering. So just nice and simple things like this here making sure that our material is kept inside the conveyor belt um, and nice and clear. Any material that does fall in between the belts, you'll see we've got our plow scraper here. And that's a nice floating plow scraper. So there's one here and there's another one down the bottom just, just to minimize any steel, um, material getting up and around the bottom of our drums. Another cool feature that we've got on these is we can turn this belt around to face the same way as the fines belt way to do this is just undoing two bolts and your hydraulics and our hydraulics hook back into this bank here. So in a, in a case where you may be operating against a block wall, we can have two products coming out the same side. 
So as with all the Keystrake scalpers, um, this one here is equipped with a steel apron feeder. Um, they are painted in um, idea of Keystrakes. As you see, the, the link between each grouser is very, very tight, and our height between the top of the grouser down to the punch plate is only about 400 mil, 500 mil. So they were not thrusting the, all the weight heavy down on the screen box. It's nice and close entry here. As you see, we've got a punch plate on here. We equip most of them with a punch plate. And on the sides here, we've got extra protection of hard ox plating. So you're not wearing the side walls of your screen box. So this is a part that we hold in stock and that's replaceable. What we're showcasing here is the drive drums or the return drums of the key tracks. As you see here, the bearings are internal. So it's minimizing dust build up inside here and uh, maintenance free so there's no grease requirements for these so our shaft is static and our drum turns around the shaft